Hi, and welcome to the presentation called The Power of WordPress. In this presentation, I want to talk all about the features and benefits of the WordPress architecture and why we at WP Biz Engine chose WordPress as the foundation for our entire program. And it's really a phenomenal technology. Let me show you why. First concept I want to talk about, and it's really a fundamental idea to understanding everything about this program, is the idea of static websites versus dynamic websites. Traditionally, dating back even to the 90s, websites were built in a static fashion. And what I mean is that a website would be developed usually by a web programmer or a webmaster, and the pages of the website would never really change, or, or if they did change, it would not happen all that frequently. And these static websites were great for populating information and publishing overall information about a business. So you would have a home page with some general information about a company, and then you may have some other pages with contact information about the company and so on. But it wasn't very flexible in the sense that the site couldn't change on a, on a dynamic basis. If you look at the way the internet is working today, websites need to be fluid, they need to be dynamic. Business owners, and I don't care what the size of the business or what the industry of the business is, these sites need to be dynamic and the content needs to change on a regular basis so that the visitors feel incented to come back to learn more information. And to, and, to, and to get information from that business owner because it's their expertise. That's the whole point of using the internet is to gain more information over a period of time. So if you look at the positives and negatives of static versus dynamic websites, uh, it's gonna become pretty obvious to you pretty quickly that dynamic websites are really the only way to go in this day and age. Static websites require programming. You have to have a technical background, you have to understand software development and web programming at a pretty deep level in order to manage and maintain a, a static website, especially when it comes to updating information on a regular basis. To do this, it requires software like Dreamweaver or FrontPage or there's other web development platforms, but it's not something that just every person has in their computer. You have to go out and buy it. And not only do you have to buy it, you have to train yourself or someone on your staff on how to use it. And it's not something that happens overnight. It's, it's an in-depth process in itself. There's people that make a living doing this. From a content perspective, it's, it doesn't really allow you, a, a static website that is, doesn't allow you to update content frequently in a way that's, that's usable and, and, uh, and reusable. So when you look at the dynamic structure of a, of a WordPress-based website, anybody can use this platform. It's geared towards non-technical users. So if you don't have a programming background, that's fine because really all you need to know to manage and update a WordPress website is the ability to do something like a Word document, uh, word processing type of functionality. If you can send an email or type a Word document, then you can probably use WordPress, which is great news for, for most business owners. The other thing is from a software perspective, you don't have to go out and buy anything really expensive. All you need is a web browser and you can update and manage and maintain your website from anywhere in the world. So it's centralized. All you need is an internet connection and a web browser and you can update your website as you need to do it. And, and that's great and it's very flexible for the business owner. Last but not least, probably the most important point here is the fact that dynamic websites promote a high content website. That means that you can update the information on your website every day or multiple times a day if, it, if it's needed in your business and in your industry. The good thing about having a high content website is that the search engines will fi find you uh, more easily if you have a site that's changing and updating and, and increasing its value over time. So having a high content website is good for business and it's also very easily done on a dynamic platform like WordPress. The major feature that I wanna talk about here when it comes to using WordPress is its ability to customize your environment depending on what your business needs. So for example, I wanna go through a couple examples here, but one example is the ability to add something like a photo gallery. In this particular screen image here, I literally took a, a folder from my computer where I had a bunch of uh, images from a digital camera, and with a couple clicks of the button, I was able to add a really nice looking image gallery that I can use anywhere on any page in my website. You also have the ability to add sidebars to your website pretty much at, at will with very much, uh, very little work, I should say. So in this example here, we've got a left sidebar that allows us to capture the name and email address of visitors to our website who, are, who may be interested in a free offer that we have. It's a great way of building a mailing list. 
If you want to add new content to your website, so for example, you have a new product promotion or you have a new product or service that you want to offer your existing customers, it's a couple simple steps. Really, you, you, you go into the page or, or post editor in WordPress, you type in the information that you want to see published on your website, you go over to the right side of the page and click the publish button and immediately all this information is now available live on the internet for your visitors to see. Like I said, there's no programming or technical knowledge available. It's simply the, the desire to update your website and you're, and you're done in a few short steps. You can also do advanced features and customizations like adding new pages to your website. So in this example, you can see I went into a pages section of my back office of WordPress, called the new page, new page. And again, with one click of the button, I have this new page available on the live internet website for my visitors to see. In the old static architecture, you would have had to add that new page and add its navigation to all subsequent pages on your website. It could have been an hour or two undertaking just to add a new page to your site. With WordPress, a couple minutes maximum. You can also do things like extend your, your, uh, your site in a blog format to have people make comments and ask questions. And it's a great way to build community. So if you have, even if you're doing something like a, a restaurant business, you could have people come in and add comments, uh, giving you reviews about the kind of food you're making and the kind of service you provided. So it's a really great way of building community. It's a great customization feature of WordPress. So that's just an, an introduction to some of the customization features that are available. But what you're also gonna find really powerful about WordPress is its ability to extend itself. What I mean by that is there will be certain features and things that you need your website to do that you don't necessarily think of on day one. A lot of, a lot of business owners don't think about the security features of their website. And spam is a big problem nowadays on the internet. So through using something called WordPress plugins, you could install plugins to, to pretty much handle any kind of situation that you're going to face. So there's one called Akismet that lets you block out spam and you literally plug it into your website, you install it through a click of a button and it's up and running. Now your site's protected against these, uh, these kind of threats. There are other, other plugins like the all-in-one SEO package. SEO stands for search engine optimization. This allows you to easily integrate your website to be found by the major search engines like Google and Yahoo. I mean, if you're not being found by these search engines, then your site has a much lower chance of being found by potential customers. You can also easily integrate things like PayPal or other e-commerce payment platforms. Again, with WordPress plugins, the process of adding that functionality to your website is very, very simple. It's very extendable. You could, if you have high traffic volume, you could turn your website into an ad platform and, and add another stream of revenue to your business. So if you're getting lots of visitors anyways, and they're gonna be interested in checking out some other products, why not host some ads on your website and give yourself the opportunity to add income through your site. There's another plugin that allows you to quickly connect all of the information on your website, whether it's a product promotion, an article you've written, it doesn't really matter. But you can plug things in like Facebook, Twitter, Dig, any of these social media uh, platforms that you hear about, you can quickly and easily plug them into your WordPress site so that visitors who come to your site can easily share that information with their community that they deal with. So in general, what you've seen here is the ability to customize and extend your website using WordPress with very, very few steps. And it's very easy for even non-technical users to do. So in general, WordPress is the solo entrepreneurs and the small business owners solution to online business.